In this video, we're going to be covering three different autofocus settings for the Panasonic G85. Now, this will apply to a lot of Panasonic's cameras, but with some slight variations between models. But before we begin, the G85 and Panasonic in general is not known for their autofocus capabilities. So the three different settings we're gonna be covering today are one area, tracking, and 49 area. We'll go over each one, how to set them up, and my personal favorite. Now, one area allows you to use a small box on the screen to select your focus area within that one area. And you can adjust the size of the area with the touch screen or the physical dials and the rear dial making larger adjustments and the front making micro adjustments. Use the touch screen or the arrow buttons to move the location as well. So essentially the camera is only going to focus on subjects within that one box. Next up we have tracking. The simplest way to set up tracking is to use the touch screen to select what you want to track and the camera will do the rest for you. And if you don't want to use the touch screen, all you have to do is hold down the shutter release halfway when the crosshairs are on the subject you want to track. All this will do is it will attempt to follow the subject and keep it in focus. And one thing I noticed is that uh, Panasonic's tracking technology, the actual dot that follows the item around, seems to be a lot better than the actual focusing technology itself. So that's kind of uh, interesting. Next up, we have 49 area. This mode allows you to select, similar to the one point mode, an area on the screen to keep in focus. Uh, the only caveat being you can't change the size of the area, and you're limited to 49 different areas of the screen. Now when you select your focus in the center of the camera, it'll select uh, all the corresponding areas around that point. This can be a much simpler way to focus than the previous two, but it doesn't always allow as much control. And we'll have samples of each of these settings and how they perform shortly. And actually setting up any of these settings is pretty simple. All you have to do is uh, make your focus dial over to autofocus continuous AFC, and then make sure obviously that your lens, if it has the autofocus selector, make sure it's on auto, not manual. Go over to your settings and change your quick autofocus setting to on, and it's gonna be under custom settings in the menu two, and your autofocus auto exposure, AF slash AE lock, and that's up in menu one, and select that to AF on. To select the different focus modes, just press function two on the back of the camera and scroll over to the focus settings and select them there. Now, my personal favorite setting for this would probably be one area. It's a lot more customizable. You can adjust the size of the area and move it around to wherever you want. So the customization is just a lot better than the 49 area, in my opinion. Also, I would highly recommend shooting in 1080p and not 4K when you're using autofocus. The reason for this is it just has a really hard time tracking anything in 4K and 1080p is just a lot better. Anyways, here's some autofocus clips with each of these settings in uh, 4K, 1080p, each with those three different autofocus settings we went over. And like I said, I'll be shooting on the Panasonic G85. And also I'm gonna be using the uh, Lumix 25 1.7, a native Panasonic lens for each of these tests. If you're using an adapter, you're not gonna have any luck with this. And last thing is make sure all your shots are exposed properly when you're doing autofocus because any shots that are a little bit underexposed, it is just not gonna track very well.
Anyways, I hope this was helpful for you. Make sure to answer the question in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.